Hello again! So it turns out that the audio is indeed working, so hey, that's a bonus! I started uploading the first half of it to YouTube already, so uh, let's, uh, you know, kind of get that started already going on there. So, gonna be a two-part dragon one way or the other, had to check. <laughs> but, let's continue dragon making... Oh goodness, I was gonna light an incense stick! That uh, came to mind uh, in between the pause... What? Oh, never mind. Came in uh, to mind in between the pause there. I'm gonna light an incense stick. Not entirely certain which scent this is here. Oh, come on, sit straight. Oh, when the incense stick kind of hangs to the side. There we go. I'm gonna go smell it. Hmm, <laughs> it's a nice sweet smelling one. I like that. Hmm. Some good vibes to kind of fill the room whilst we finish a dragon here. Let's see if we finish a dragon. Kind of pushing it. It's 10 p.m. At that point tomorrow we can work on the adoption scroll. Which would be really nice. <laughs> I had a good uh, idea for what the dragon might be of. And it was the dragon of rambunctiousness and like stoic silence. <laughs> okay, let's. Piles of rings were almost starting to kind of combine together here. Let's just be careful. I don't think I'm really going to kill the closed ones. Just kind of, you know, wing it in general. Then four legs after that. Unless I want to steal like a Jill into Albert's legs, but I'm pretty certain they'd be pissed. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. Kind of wish I could keep on doing my uh, titanium ring idea. Like every, di uh, every dragon containing a titanium ring. I really liked that idea! But the black dragons, there's no black titanium. So... Huh, ideas that don't quite work out, eh? Ah well, gotta scrap them sometime. Last three dragons had a piece of titanium inside of them. Tempted to give this one titanium eyes, but it's not as shiny. And literally can't sneak it in anywhere else. <laughs> I love titanium spirit. Might do titanium eyes. <laughs> Every black dragon has titanium eyes. Mildly tempting. Mildly tempting. But they're not as shiny, that's the thing. Like if it's hidden amongst a pile of other silver rings, it's like nigh invisible. It was like a hiding game. If I had like niobium or something that was just about this pitch as well, then I'd put it into there. Or if I had a way of painting the titanium, mm, I wish I could. <laughs> just <sighs> sigh of resignation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I've been opening rings. Goodness, how many rings have I been doing that for? <laughs> when your mind is off on other subjects and your hands are just kind of working in automatic, it's like, hey, you gotta open the ring because rings need to be open. <laughs> but then after a while, your brain screams at you, ah, oh, wait, we're supposed to be adding to this pile. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> yeah, well, pre-opened rings is always good. Extra the extras ah, blah, 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 blah. extras of those can't help. Can't help. Extra of those extras of those can't hurt. Goodness, there is a tongue twister right there. Extra of those e extras of those can't hurt. Extra of those Ooh, that is a tongue twister, hey? Extras of those can't hurt. There you go. Peter Pepper Peter Pepper picked a pack of pickled peppers. I used to be able to say that really good. Huh, who's in my touch? I haven't tried to say any tongue twisters for ages now. She sells seashells by the seashore. That's that's a boring one, to be honest. The tip of the tongue, the teeth, of the lips. That's supposed to be good pronunciation. Tip of the tail, the teeth, of the lips. Oh. <laughs> Except that I didn't actually touch your tail. I opened another game. Oh. Oh. <laughs> You're supposed to be touching my teeth. Tip the tongue, the teeth. Okay, close the ring. Ka lose. <laughs> Don't worry, I may have bitten the dragon, but I'll wash him off later. <laughs> like I said, I do have to try and scrub some of the uh, dust off of them. Generally speaking, with the other dragons, that kind of happens at home because they're, you know, they're mucking about and being scrubbed around with each other and everything. It's generally a nice, uh, playful dragon pile happening. That kind of, you know, it's self-cleaning. In a sense. <laughs> and it gets on the carpet and whatnot. And then you vacuum. And then you vacuum. Oh goodness, I, I picked up like a really amazing vacuum cleaner. It's a tiny little one gallon shop vac, like a wet dry shop vac. And I was like, that is perfect for apartment use. The odds of me actually filling up like a one gallon thing inside of an apartment is so slim to nil. Unless I'm doing liquids and spilled something massive to the point that it's going to like start affecting the people beneath me. <laughs> and at that point it's uh, fill up the shop vac, empty it as fast as I humanly can into the toilet unless that's the thing that's overflowing, and then keep going. I like that idea of being able to vacuum a wet surface. If I decide to uh, rug doctor the uh, carpet, but without a rug doctor, essentially buy like a stiff bristle brush and basically just splash soap around it and scrub the carpeting, then the shop vac would be able to pull that out of the carpet pretty nicely and then, you know, you wait a few days extra for it to dry on its own. But essentially shop vac it out yourself. Not that I expect to need to do that, but I may want to do that. Or, you know, I have some horrific spill and it's like, 
Got to do what you got to do. Get the dish soap. Hands and knees. <laughs> I have cute little pink knee pads. Sure, hiding way over that away. Okay, we've got two decent piles of rings here. Do I think that's 58 yet? Did I say 58? I might have said 58. 14. 28 times 2. 56. So, let's see if we uh, hit 56 without bothering to count. Let's make some alien mail. Make us a dragon head. Let's make a dragon head here. Two of them instead. It's gonna take a lot of time to get this right. Combining the heads together will be quite a fight. There we go, the ring slipped. Something didn't quite turn out right. What oh, what happened? This hearing needs to be flipped. Can that happen? Don't think so. What gotta change? A few things right up here. A little more setback. But nothing too bad. Yeah, that didn't run at all. <laughs> Oh goodness, I still need a song of the day. You're going to get to watch it. The recording of a song of the day. Ooh, inception <laughs> Let's go do that right now. Middle of a dragon. Do a song of the day. This will be fun. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's time for another song of the day. Woo! Don't forget to like and subscribe, and also share. Ah, uh, yeah, recording and recording, right now here you see. Ah, uh, yeah, making a dragon, a two-headed and tailed one. It's coming along, like well right now. I'm gonna try this again, cause that didn't run no how. <laughs> second attempt, second attempt. Hey y'all, time for another song of the day. Woo! Don't forget to like and subscribe, and also share. I am recording a recording, you can see right here. I am making a dragon, that much is so clear. So I decided to sing in the middle of a dragon making. And here the song of the day, it's about dragon making. Oh, that is some stellar rhyming there, girl. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Hey, y'all. You're all looking at each other now. Ooh, scary. <laughs> oh, have a wonderful night, all. Rare. Yeah, nailed it. <laughs> A lot of them are just fun, fun, playful things. Hey, anyway, well, let's get uh, YouTube uh, uploading this one as well here. Don't mind me, do 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 do, doing internet stuff while recording. Mm -hmm. I'll sing for you. That'll count. Is YouTube missing a song that only shows uh, 232?
Let's pop over to Instagram. What's what's going on here? Here, Cabbage Roid. I basically more or less a bit of the uh, Twitter Cabbage Roid. Like, I don't really use it often. It's more or less just a repost of where my song of the days go. Like, I post some pictures to it. Not much text. Like, if I'm posting text, it's going to Facebook. That's just how it is. Instagram is my main non-Facebook. Instagram. So check me out there, Cabbage Roid. K-A-B-U-T-R-O-I-D. And, uh, that's me. Okay, what's going on here? 39 seconds. Yes, we are missing a song. Huh. Okay, I'm actually going to go get that started to upload here. Sorry, don't mind me. Fixing stops. Okay, let's not spend a whole lot of time typing there. And I'm just going to get that one started to upload. And grab me a bite of chips. I was going to knock, but one of my babies pulled me to it, so I was like, hmm. Chips are like the greatest thing ever. And all dressed chips are the greatest, greatest thing ever. Except for dragons. Dragons are better. <laughs> oh, the dragon food flew out. Too much partying over there. <laughs> There we go, we fixed that. our first section of European 4 and one That's just what we're gonna do and it's gonna be so fun. Let's make us a dragon, dragon it here and now. It's gonna be so awesome when we're done this dragon somehow.
Okay, there we go. Stretch of European four and one. Eight rings long. And then we do that a second time. And then we do that a third time. And then we do that a fourth time. So in the meantime, uh, while recording this, I've now got two things uploading in the background. <laughs> We have the first half of our video here, and we have that song of the day that you just heard a minute ago there. Yeah. Internet here is just, ooh, like 0.2 meg per second upload. I'm really worried that my singing might be annoying the neighbors. Yeah, I'm expecting to hear knocking on my door at some point. For that reason, if uh, any of them, I may uh, cut out early. Just because I was kind of planning to uh, stream until I really am a night person. I need a house. Goodness. Do I even want a house? I need a really well insulated apartment. Because I don't want to annoy people when it's past 10 type of thing. I'll just try and be a little bit quiet, okay? Just turn up the volume for the most part. in just a slightly off. There we go. Better, better. Yeah, better, 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 better. better. <laughs> Did I make this too long? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, I did. Okay, undo just slightly. Okay, do I make one head at a time? Or do I make all of the stretches of four and one at a time? I'm kind of leaning in that direction. How many work holders do I have? Two more. You know I can work with that, I think. I think I can work with that. Oop, that's a pretty open grid.
goodness, that several of them have dropped now. And they've both rolled off. Oh, this be C1. Can you hear you? Ah. Nope, found the other one. Aha! And a third one. Huh. See, that one was unexpected. Are all of you pre-closed? You are wonderful. This one too long as well. Yes, we are. Kind of autopiloting. Thinking about singing at the time. And also, uh, my friend kind of looking at the dragon. You know, just kind of picturing that. Oh, goodness, where's this? there's a really good seam on this ring. Kept on rotating it around and couldn't find out where the connection was. You know, it's good when. Okay, three down, one to go. Whew, getting there, we're getting there. We're getting there, oh, we're getting there. What we're getting is getting there. Getting there, oh, getting there, oh, getting there, oh, getting there. Get, 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 getting there. Get, 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 getting there. Try something in a minute here. I just thought of something, it's so clear. <laughs> Okay, kind of two minutes stepping away from the computer here. I'm, I'm testing a theory, a thing. Of course, I just kind of remembered something. And I want to see if I can do something with that something. I want to see if I can do something. I'll tell you in a sec. It's going to be a surprise, I guess. Second, that sort of counts. Sort of rhymes. We'll go and try this here first, and who knows? Maybe it'll work. As you get clicking. Okay, yeah, that's not bad. As I step over stuff. Now we have to uh, kind of bounce back and forth to the computer once or twice here. 
But let's just try something for a sec. Oh, I tried plugging in the uh, other camera because, uh, long story, didn't think of it until now. And it's uh, not kind of popping up automatically. I'd have to close the app and reopen it. So we'll just stick with this here. Oh well, it was an attempt. <laughs> Oh goodness! It would have been so cool if after all this time I swapped to another camera, like... Oh, uh, ooh. Oh. Better. Yep, the coloring process definitely does something to the edges of the ring somehow. Maybe some more of the uh, like color compound itself, whatever is coating the rings, like builds up around the uh, edge of the or edge of the ring, kind of creating a burn there or something like that. Maybe, maybe. I'm only spitballing here. That kind of makes sense, in a way. So that uh, other song of the day that I forgot to upload yesterday, like, I uploaded it to Instagram and, uh, like, Facebook, but not to YouTube yesterday. So we're getting that uploaded. It's about half done now. Like, seriously, a one-minute video, and it's been, like, what, ten minutes and it's half done? Right. Like, we're at, like, dial-up speeds here. No, 400 kilobar? Yeah, yeah, we're at dial-up speeds here. Yeah, that's just sad. They claim it's because of the wiring. <sighs> copper wires causing this? No. I've lived in places with copper wires. I was getting five megs. <laughs> So I may call MTS and, you know, bug them for a new router or something like that. But, you know, this is small town here. It probably is, like, a horrifically old or outdated wiring or something like that. So, you know, kind of working up the effort to want to call MTS, stay on hold for, like, the hour or whatever that I'm going to be there for. And then, like... My expectation is that they're going to say they can't do anything anyway, because they said that in the store when I bought, uh, like when I signed up for the internet. And there's literally only one internet provider in this town, so it's literally this or nothing. So, it's hard to get worked up about calling a provider, eh? <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, woo! We are almost done, and we had enough pre-closed rings. Plenty of extra pre-opened rings. <laughs> Plenty of extra pre-opened rings. Oop. And that's the last one of that that we need. Squeeze this down so it doesn't have that scritchy there. There you go. Oh, hey! That sped up quick. It's almost done uploading now. Whoa! Well, that went fast. What's the other one sitting at? That was at 1% before. 2%! Whoa! <laughs> to be fair, that one is almost 3 hours. Okay, so now we have our sections of uh, European 4 and 1. Four of them. And now we sandwich them together. And we combine the work holders. Need more work holders. 18 gauge aluminum rings. I have some like hardened to aluminum and some like soft aluminum ones. I wish I had more soft aluminum. It just kind of came in a pile of random rings, like you can get floor sweepings from the Ring Lord, which is literally all of the rings that kind of, you know, just kind of fall to the ground amongst their work. 
They sweep them up and literally sell them as just bulk random rings. Literally called floor sweepings. I love it. Just, just call it out. Just call it what it is. <laughs> we swept, swept the floor. Except our dust. It even says it comes with a nice helping of dust. <laughs> so naturally I had to buy it. And I got those rings from it. And a whole ton of other random ones. Just, yeah. Okay, they're kind of buried underneath larger rings right now, which I yanked off of an old purse. Repurposing. There we go, we've sandwiched uh, these two European 4-in-1 sections. Something doesn't, there we go. That's all awesome and stuff. And now we do the same to these two. And we have to make sure that the weaves, weaves are opposite to each other. Let's see, flip you over. And we squeeze you together. Okay, come on. Come on. There we go, sandwich these two together. Awesome, awesome. And now comes the operation. Combining the edges of these and then the tips of them, or at least the one tip of them. Okay, so the um, opening of the dragon mouth is going to be on this side of it. It's just that uh, you look at the side rings, and you basically want that the way that rings slant, it's either kind of like V upwards or V downwards type of thing, like an arrow pointing up or an arrow pointing down. Uh, you want them all to be uh, like pointing towards the back of their throat, essentially, so it's opening up towards the front of the mouth. Yeah, that, that makes sense. <laughs> and having done that, then we kind of attach all of our side rings here, which we're going to have to open more rings because it looks like we need extras. But I didn't uh, take into account in my previous calculations the seaming of the edges of the alien whale. And there's some whole extra finagling with that because we're uh, using the quarter inch rings here. Quarter inch ring, quarter inch ring, you got some problems here, quarter inch ring. You make the weave not so bling, no, oh, this old, this old quarter inch ring. But we don't have 732, so we do the best we do. Quarter inch ring, go oh, quarter inch ring, we make you work, go oh, quarter inch ring. <laughs> there you go. Just a here, here, here. Let's use it. Whoop. Nope, no, 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 no. No tangling. Now comes a bit of a long part. If you're not so much a long part, just a yeah, I have to be paying particular attention to what I'm doing part. And we're going to have to open up some more rings. We need, honestly I'm not 100% certain how many side rings there are. This is a wonderful opportunity to check. Because you know, I know there's uh, two, or four, well, okay, if it's double-headed dragon, dragon, but I'd say it's two-headed dragon. We need two sets of seven and one set of, or wait, sorry, four sets of seven and two sets of eight to make up the uh, top and the bottom of the uh, head. And then the side rings here that uh, seam it together. But yeah, I can't specifically recall how many side rings we need to seam it together. So we shall count. <laughs> ah, Coraline, life be with you, Park Kiss Bush. My sister's really sick lately. So if you could send her your prayers, that would be amazing. She has uh, Cushing's disease, 
and it's caused a whole lot of other problems and he's getting hip replacement right now and he's like not even 50 yet going through all this, it's awful. So I send her my bless uh, blessings every so often, the rest of the family, Nicole, Craig, Kaylin, Harry. Yeah. Kind of a sad tale half of our family really. Other half I hope is doing really good. Okay, so for soldering count, we have, if you do this right, yes, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six edge rings, so two sets of six. We need uh, two sevens, two six, no wait, four sevens, two sixes, and two eights. So let's see here. Eight times two, seven times four, and then six times two. So sixteen, twelve, and you we said it was uh, fourteen twenty-eight. And twenty, thirty, forty, fifty-six. Hey, I did have that number right from before. There are fifty-six uh, rings in a dragon head. Although I think one of those gets removed with the uh, tip of the mouth. And technically another one is added from the big mouth ring. So it evens out. 56. <laughs> and the rest of it is the neck. Okay, now we need to open up a whole pile of rings. Pile of rings, pile of rings, we gotta open up a pile of rings. Pile of rings, oh pile of rings, oh open up a pile of rings. And uh, just as I'm like uh, grabbing the rings, I'm trying to see which edge of the uh, ring is slightly higher than the other. And if I can tell, I try to like twist it, uh, you know, opposite to that. Oh, hey, you're a pre-closed ring. Not that I need any more pre-closed rings whatsoever. I'll kind of put you over there just aside because you'll come in handy later. Pretty much entirely because my next dragon is a black dragon now that I think about it because, again, most other dragons uh, all quarter inch rings are uh, pretty opened. Dragon pants. <laughs> Only on the toothed dragons is the quarter inch ring ever pre closed. Quarter inch ring closed? Pre closed or closed? What sounds better there? Only on the toothed dragon is the quarter inch ring closed. That's not bad. That's not Gotta have a dragon lore. I've been photo photographing my dragons as I go. And not necessarily even photographing them all the time, like, I play with my dragons constantly. Just the other day, Charlotte was playing in a uh, mud puddle. Or basically like a stream of uh, meltwater going down the river, or river, going down the street. Oh, it was chilly. She's a fire dragon, like, I'm surprised she jumped on that. I'm definitely going to write up the uh, information on dragons. Because uh, the little tidbits that, you know, not everyone knows. All dragons have an element, but they have to trust you and get to know you before they'll tell it to you. Even I don't know the dragon's elements except my own. I have a fire dragon, Charlotte, a wind dragon, sea and sea, and a fire, or ice dragon, Octavia. My divination was basically born in ice, and Octavia was with me for that. It was there that she told me she was an ice dragon, I believe. Can't recall if she told me earlier than that. Mida. Mida, Mida. Why am I pre closing a pile of rings? <laughs> okay, well, we need 24, 
We need 18 right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, uh, sixteen. I just have an interesting idea. Seventeen. You're pretty close, we'll keep you there. 17, 18. I just had an idea. Okay, so if I put in the mouth ring before the teeth rings, then uh, I won't have to muck about with the uh, alignment of the like side of the alien male. The uh, yeah, seaming together, because uh, it's AR specific. And by adding the 3 16 inch rings, it basically uh, gets it to that AR, so to speak. It basically makes them stop from sliding out from each other. So, if I put the mouth ring in first, that'll basically make my job easier. Do I do the chin ring first? I guess I can try that. Might be doing a little bit of trial and error this dragon, just to, just to see what happens. Curious to see what happens. Dragons are getting closer. Do 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 do. Dragons are getting closer. Do 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 do. Dragons are getting closer. Do 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 do. Dragons are getting closer. Do 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 do. What are you, the dragons out? Oh. Why did you just tell me grapefruit and tequila? Or is that what you want? But I honestly see that going well. You know, you have your lemonade or lime and tequila, for whatever reason. Personally, I prefer it straight. But using grapefruit instead of lime? Now that's an intriguing one. That's an intriguing one. Doing tequila shots with salt and lime. Ugh. Just, just, can I just have the tequila, please? Keep your lime and your salt. I'm not going to want it. If everyone's doing it that way. Do I have to? It's, it's, it's much more preferable to do without. Seriously, people. <sighs> ah, as I slunch down just a slight. Do 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 do.
Sorry, being so quiet here. In the concentration mode again. It does tend to happen with chain mail. Okay, that finished uploading. Okay. Just uploading our most recent song from like 15-20 minutes ago, whenever I sung that. And we're at song 324. Ooh, we're getting up there. Come on, as if you don't have dragon making as a single word as a known word. Oh goodness, it is just time to get the notifications. What it is time for is a bite of chips. Oh. Mm -hmm. Um, dum, so, uh, um, um, in there, I, uh, dear, dear, so, I, oh, um, dum, so, uh, um, um, in there, I, uh, dear, dear, so, I, oh, um, dum, so, uh, um, um, in there, I, uh, dear, dear, so, I, oh, um, dum, so, uh, um, um, in there, I, uh, dear, dear, so, I, oh, I'm 
soy, soy, Well, I'll be nervous about the time and people being asleep and stuff. It's like 11 at night. And I'd really love to go for another hour. Okay, there we go. Now we can remove the work holder of the mouth ring end. And remove one of these two rings. Like from the two stretches of the European four and one. And then the matching ring on the opposite side. will basically take the place of that one. Kind of, you know, making a closed mouth type of thing. So, you know, it's like, oh, um, they're uh, clamped onto the ring and their, you know, lips are wrapped around it. The mouth ring. Okay, one more. One to go. One can go there. Okay, so now we need a handful of mouth rings. So we have our kilt finger wire here. Oh, this is a really round one. This is good. This is good. Okay. How is this compared to Octavia? Well, Octavia's mouth ring is actually smaller than most. It used to be smaller still. Let's compare you to CNC. She has a much shinier mouth ring. Let me show you the difference between a dragon that hasn't been played with and that has. So this new ring, you can see how tarnished it is. And this ring, you can see how shiny it is. That's when your dragon shines up to you. Mm. As I step on a thing, I'm still finding scales everywhere. The problem with my apartment generally being a mess of stuff on the ground. 
It's easy to step on things. And right now, everything's kind of spread out because I've kind of got stuff boxed and other boxed and stuff. place to file my filings onto. So, square of cloth I had nearby. You will do nicely. There we go. Oh, there we go. That's a nice closure. Hmm. I'm gonna push it past just a hair so you're kind of forcing outward on yourself a little bit. Let's give you an extra tight closure. Squeeze that by just a hair. Just a 20th of a millimeter. There we go, right about there. Now I need a second one of those. And yes, I know I'm drinking from a measuring cup. I rather like it. I figure any vaguely cup-shaped thing can be used as a drinking glass. Any vaguely bowl-shaped thing can be used as a bowl. Any large-ish bowl-shaped thing can be used as a plate. <laughs> Honestly, I personally hate plates. They're so limited in what they can do. If you have anything liquidy or anything pasta like, like it's basically guaranteed to slide off the side. So it's like, what's your purpose again? To hold stuff? Isn't that what my bowl does? <laughs> and it's just for bigger things like toast or bread. I need a bowl that's got a large enough base to hold bread. And then, then I will have no purpose for plates. Okay, how are you for a mouth ring? Pretty decent, just... A hair large, a hair large. Which is good, because we're going to be filing off a hair. There we go. Two coat hanger mouth rings. The coat hangers kind of call back to my very first project that I ever did too. I made a chainmail glove out of 24, uh, 24 coat hangers. Oh, and it was a good one. Okay. Oh, come on. Ah, there we go. Okay. Random square of cloth. Return. And accept my filings. So that first pull, hey?
the music playing. It could be the bar kind of just straight across this, well not even across the street, right beside us. Legally curious. Let's test. Let's do a test. Don't worry, he'll hear. If you can hear, you can hear. No. <laughs> Definitely coming from outside. Alright, that's cool. Hopefully it doesn't bother you too much. Maybe at some point in the future I'll rearrange the you know, computer and microphone and stuff to be further from the wall. In all honesty, it'll probably be in my bedroom in the future. It was a lot harder on the knees though, kind of being uh, kneeled on the ground while chain mailing. I liked it. I like being a ground dweller. Maybe I'll just have to do more yoga so I can stretch and stuff. There we go! We have two mouth rings that are near, more or less identical. Slight slide off, but that's the uniqueness of the dragons. Of all of the rings, those ones, no two are ever the same. So, now where's my other pair of pliers? I should have one more pair of pliers. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, pliers? Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Also, come here, chips. <laughs> Still munching. Oh. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. Sorry, Kaklonk. There we go. Just had a burr on the end or something along those lines. Okay, now we decide which side is up and which side is down. At which point, I've generally always been making... I'll try and show you. As soon as I can align my rings. Okay, of the edge rings here. You can see the bottom one here is further forward than the top one here that I'm touching. Yeah, we want this top one that's kind of further back that way to be the top of the mouth, and the one that's further forward to be the bottom of the mouth. <laughs> so that's how we figure that out. I determined a while ago that that's just the best way to, you know, do a dragon mouth. And so that's what I go with. In my earlier dragons, there was a few different iterations and attempts that I had of making, you know, a nice looking snout. This was a decent snout. I like that word, snout. <laughs> Kind of makes me wish I was a puppy. Do cats have snouts? No, cats have cute little button noses. Dogs have snouts. 
Though to be fair, I do have kind of a subliminal wolf on my left hand to go with the meow on my right. <laughs> Okay. Second ring. There we go. Okay, one mouth ring in. Now let's get the second mouth ring. We'll pop that in. Then we'll work on the chins. I'm debating whether to get the teeth in before. We'll do the teeth after the chin, see what happens. Then we'll attach the dragon or the heads to the body. Then we make legs. The fridge. <laughs> Mildly distracting when that goes off at night, but no, you ignore it, ignore it pretty quickly. Still a distraction. <laughs> oh, way to break into my daydream there, little, little refrigerator. Under, under, go up through, under, over, over, over. Heaven's name, were these pipe cleaners doing in here? These were used to wrap up something, but that something's obviously gone. Hmm. Are you just not aligned properly, or are you doing the same thing as the other ring? Because that felt a bit harsh. There you go, much closer. Okay. A little bit pretty showing up for her there. Okay. Slide that ring into place. And then we duplicate what we did on the first side. And the first head rather. Hmm. You have to fix that thing to touch.
Okay. Okay. We've got a pear dragon fence kind of partially made. And now we need to flip that. Oh goodness, my hair is a train wreck. Flip that one ring over underneath here. And that will give us our chin chin chin. There we go. Okay, there we go. We got the bend in that uh, head there. Now, number two. Where am I going? Where's the seam on this one? There you are. Now we need to go back through these two, flip through them the opposite way, go through three of the four, go with that one section being gridlocked, spinning the wheel. Which I gotta say, despite it kind of having a negative sounding name and kind of being a overall weak feeling weave. It's actually really versatile. Like when you start bringing scales into the deal there and other fun stuff, just modifications of uh, gridlock, well, you can get some fun stuff going. I've seen some interesting things online. I've seen some stuff, man. I've seen some stuff. Things. Thingies and stuff. <laughs> Okay. There we go. Bend number two. And now we add in the teeth. Okay, all your quarter inch rings that are conveniently pre closed are going to disappear into this slot. A whole big pile of 3 16 inch rings. This one decided to bounce off my leg and roll down under here. Then be recollected because I failed you. Ah! Now I think we're only going to need 
20 of these. I think, I think. Let's open up a big old... Oh, I have a whole pile of uh, open dreams. Yeah, that one can go with the rest of the pile. Okay, you go there. I thought I had the open dreams and I was like, oh goodness, another one decided to roll. Right. Found you. The ever-present, like, thing of a chain mailer. Looking for the rings that fell. Oh goodness, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit tired right now. Okay. And the teeth in is pretty tricky. It's a really tight spot. It's really quite difficult to get into there. So let's have at it. I'm not sure about this having done the chin first part. Oh, wait, 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 I think we might be good. I mean, this tooth might have been put on slightly wrong. Slightly wrong and can we kind of Tug that the other way. No. Huh. What happened? Okay, you ring out. You're definitely incorrect. Oh. And you, other ring. You pulled open slightly. You go fix. I might mean, not see what I need to see. There we go. Okay. So I'm going through this ring. This ring. There we go. I've shown you the sides of dragon heads in the past. But play one more time because I like to. The tooth goes in approximately like that. Yeah. Okay. Let's pop a whole pile more of them in now.
I'm still not sure about this doing the teeth after part. It's got its potentials, its positives, and it's got its negatives of it is really difficult to do after the chin ring. Because it is ludicrously tight. Okay, and that one goes in front of that, that one goes in front of that. This ring has to slide over here. Playing with the alignment here. Okay. Okay. Almost to make it. Oh, we're supposed to be in front of you. Okay. Come on now. Come on now. Oh. Did we get it? Oh, we got it. Goodness, I am getting tired. We'll see how much more of this I can do here. We're coming along, but it's slow and it's late. And I'm tired. Oh, 
need to make sure these side rings are aligned properly. Before I can put the tooth rings in. Okay, I think I found the right spot. Hmm. We need to get through there. Which, wow, well, I am honestly surprised I just pulled off. I was really not wanting to slide in that direction, but just, just, just. Just, just. It's going to be a really firm dragon head. Okay, I can now see what's happening here. I see what's happening here. This ring is supposed to be on the other side of this ring. I'll just give you a slight tug of this away. See if we can kind of pop that ring to the other side of that one. Come on. Come on. There we go. That's lined up with that properly now. That's lined up with that.
little troubles. That doesn't look right. No, no, it doesn't. Once again, this ring is supposed to be the front of this ring. Ha. Ha, I see. Okay, I'm starting to get annoyed here. I apologize for the giant gap of silence here, but this is putting up a fight and I'm getting bleary-eyed. I did have a vague hope of finishing the dragon today, but I'm guessing that one ain't going to be happening anytime soon, since I'm still fighting with the teeth of the first dragon head. This is going to be an eight-hour dragon. I may have to redo the teeth entirely. I'm going through that and that. Okay, okay, I think I've got eyeballs on exactly what I need to see here. I think I might have something. Okay, okay, eyeballs open up again. What did you see? Seriously, just only this? That seems off significantly. That is off significantly. Oh, yes, I need to be on the other side of this. So through here, and then through here, this tiny little gap. Come on. Come on. Okay, I need to go through this. Under this, and then through this. Goodness. Nope. 
keep sliding out. Other pliers, maybe. Okay, well, I really had to wrench that uh, ring around hard. I did get it into the right place. I completely bent the ring. Uh, but I did get it through the connection where it's supposed to get. So we're going to close this horribly mangled ring uh, as best we can. And as best we can, I mean perfectly again. So I'll just, it's a wire, I'll bend it into shape. I'll double check that we didn't like mangle open any other rings accidentally in that maneuver. Good at nest teeth first. There's a lesson right there. Teeth first. Okay, that's not bad. It kind of gave them uh, nostrils of sorts, which is pretty awesome. Okay, I think we've got one dragon head here, minus the eyes. What time am I sitting at? 11.45. Another almost two hours. Oh, what the heck, I'm a glutton for punishment. Okay, let's try doing the other head. Just as a, let's try doing it in the opposite direction actually, see if that helps. This is a good test here. Come on. Come on. There we go. Just massage all the rings into place while they're loose. And we figure it out as we go. That's that, that's that. Okay, is this what I was doing before? Something doesn't look right about that. Here, first dragon head. Let me have a look, see at these two rings. up this ring slightly. This is to be jump into there. Not sure if I can do this backwards.
Okay, this one's even loose to put in. We're going to try it. And we'll do the get that on side two here. It's way too far back, isn't it? Yes. Go. Okay, we're going to try from the back forward again. That's about the only way it seems to be wanting to work right now. We ended up putting the chin on the wrong side of this other one, just due to the way that the uh, side works there. Huh. Let's try flipping this around really quick. This worked. So those two coordinates can be there.
You know, I think we're good with the head here, actually. Did kind of joke that the dragon might hurt the dragon of stoic silence. I don't know if I want that. Or who it's going to. There we go. Get shattering back in. Back <laughs> up, this dragon is a double shame. Okay. What's going on over here? I've never attached these two just yet. Okay, well, there's a really good reason that I made the dragon heads in a very specific order before. I think I kind of lucked my way to choosing that other method is the method that I always used. This method it has not been doing well. We are getting there. Significantly slower, unfortunately, but we are getting there. And I hear my phone on the verge of dying again. And it's just going to have to live with that for two seconds. So I am working on dragon teeth. There we go. You know, it's really, really difficult to slow this ring in initially. Once you get it in, then it slows like butter. It's kind of interesting and amusing at the same time. And it slows like butter. 
Almost, almost thinking about it. Nope. Come on. Through here. Just, just a few moments. Just. Not on that side. There. Right there. Come on. There we go. Oh, come on. Okay. Okay, I did make a minor mistake. Unfortunately. Afraid of that. Not specifically about making that mistake, but making any mistake. <laughs> so let's play a little game of undo. Uh, the chin ring I put in just slightly off. Oh goodness. This ring, and chin ring, but I've redone twice now. Come on, come on, you. Back to 
either between four and one leave. Oh, goodness. I just want to finish this part, then we'll call it a day and I'll finish the rest of the dragons later. Dragons? I guess so. Finish the rest of the dragons later. Like, tomorrow if I can. I have to work at 3 in the afternoon tomorrow. Evening shift, 3 to midnight. So we'll see what happens there. Like in regards to recording tomorrow. Nope. I'll drop it. Drop it. Well, we need to grab that ring. And then double back this way. And grab this ring. Yeah. Okay. This screen. <sighs> Holy heavens. That there was a fight. Okay. Back to what I was at. Um. 
There we go. And you see it like that. This. That. And that's supposed to be like this. Okay. Okay. That's definitely not quite right. Uh, I am way too tired to keep fighting with this. Good nest, did I just get it on the one side? Oh, that suddenly, suddenly tightened everything up into place. No good, just that tightened things. Not quite in the right way. <laughs> oh, that's that's the that's the key there, though. Okay. Yeah. This ring is supposed to be in front of this ring before I do that operation. So there we go, like so. Okay, there we go. Everything is lined up correctly. Oh, we oh, are getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. Okay, hopefully the last 
two to go in here. We have an extra ring over here that I've got to go through here. Let's make that out. It's fine to see my neck before I get annoyed and see if we get it out. Okay. I need a little bit of scaffold spot to the pretty thing. Okay. This has to go in front of that. That needs to go in front of that. Don't fight me. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to do some adjusting here. When things don't fit by like literally half a millimeter. But then if you get them into just the right spot, click into place, one down, number two. I'm bumping open. I'm going to put it in this ring. So I can read the other side of that ring. Let's do it that way. It's final to the thing in. In theory, this should be approximately good. Okay, now this thing. 
I think that one gave me less fight. We have two ident identical dragon heads. Woo! Holy goodness. Well, let's just fix this one right here slightly. Just a well. I'm really worried about this stretch in the rainbow thing here. The area is fairly tight, but has some give. Okay, so let me show you here. We have two, count them, two dragon heads. Both identical. And that is where I'm going to call it for the night. I'm sorry, little fella. Didn't quite have time to finish it today. I really hoped. I really, really hoped. We need these other open rings here for when we get to the legs. We have to finish the shoulders. How the heads connect to the body. There is a lot to do yet. Another four hours, maybe? Probably another four hours. Okay, well, we got a good chunk done. Yay! Getting there. We're getting there. All right. Have a wonderful night, all. And I'll see you on the, uh, hopefully, the completion of our double-headed dragon here. Later! Yeah.